Hi everyone, Jane here at Actual Toyota here in Brampton and right now you're looking at the 2016 V6 Venza all-wheel drive XLE in magnetic gray metallic. So I'm going to give you a quick little walk around and show you some of its features. And I'm also going to apologize if you can hear a bit of background noise. There is a bit of uh, construction going on here at Atrol. So let's get back to the car. We have a beautiful silver grill on the front here as well as your chrome Toyota emblem. We have projector style halogen headlights as well as integrated fog lights. We have five spoke 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. We have colored key door handles. Fuel cap will be on the driver's side of this vehicle. On the rear here we have our automatic lift gate. It has its own windshield wiper as well as your chrome badges. We have dual exhaust to support our V6 engine. We have chrome wrapping around all the windows. We also have signals integrated on your mirrors. And I'm sure you can see that that roof is open. We do have a panoramic glass roof in this vehicle and I'll show you more about that once we get inside. So there you have it, the 2016 V6 Venza all-wheel drive XLE in magnetic gray metallic. This beautiful Venza does have keyless entry, so simply click unlock on your key fob and it's going to allow you right into the vehicle. On the driver's side door here, we have our controls for our power windows as well as our power locks. Just underneath that, we have some bottle storage as well as some regular storage in the door. The driver's seat in this vehicle is an eight-way power driver's seat with lumbar support. Great convenience feature to have, especially when you want to adjust while driving. Makes it really, really easy. Let's bring you inside, close the door, get rid of some of this background noise. Right here is where you can change your side view mirrors. So simply by clicking either left or right, you can use the arrows to adjust them. And once it's in the center, nothing's going to move. Right here is where you can open your automatic lift gate. And we do have the ability of turning your traction control on and off. Down here we have a little storage container with uh, three change organizers. This button here, this is to allow your power lift gate to work. So if you do want that to be activated, make sure that button is on. Down at the bottom here is where you can pop your hood. And just down on the floor is your fuel release cap. I'm going to move this seat back a little bit and talk about the steering wheel. We do have tons of controls, definitely for uh, audio visual as well as some extras. We have our volume up and down on this side as well as your back and mode button, all of your arrows and your select button. On this side we have our Bluetooth controls, so we have our pickup, hang up as well as our voice recognition, which also works with the navigation system I might add. And just down at the bottom here, we have cruise control on the steering wheel as well. So definitely a great thing to have all of these stereo, uh, steering wheel controls as it keeps your hands on the wheel and your attention on the road. Before I talk about the entertainment system, I just want to point out this beautiful blue color that's wrapping around the speedometer. Not something that you see in very many vehicles, but definitely adds a little bit of beauty for sure. In the center here, we do have a 6.1 inch touchscreen display. It does come integrated with AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth, a reverse camera, as well as the navigation system itself. So to open that navigation system, just click it. It's very up to date. The voice recognition is awesome in these vehicles, so definitely try and keep your hands on the wheel when using, when using it. And I'll quickly throw it into reverse for you just to show you how clear that picture is. You can see the dealership behind us there. Definitely a nice, useful tool. Everything to set up this uh, display is all through these buttons up here, as well as your map card is what activates that navigation system. So make sure that that definitely stays in your vehicle. We have dual air zone in this vehicle. So you can change the temperature from the driver's seat to the passenger seat. Definitely a great thing to have if you are going on longer car rides, no more bickering. We have heated front seats, all controlled through these lovely dials. It is an automatic transmission in this vehicle, however, you can flip it over to Tiptronic if you would prefer to do those gear changes yourself. Definitely a great thing to have, especially when you are towing things around. I know that some cars tend to jump revs if you're going up and down hills, some don't, but definitely great to have uh, the convenience of changing those gears yourself. Now these little storage containers here, I absolutely love them. I think that they're probably one of the best parts that they've added to the Benza. So I'm quickly gonna take out my phone and I'm gonna show you what these are for. So this one here I like to call the passenger side phone spot. So your phone slips in just like that and it sits completely upright. So you have full view of that screen. This is where it gets really interesting. If you open this up, underneath here, there's a little 
um, nook, I guess you could call it. You can run all your cords through there. And conveniently, our USB, our auxiliary, as well as our power outlet are all located inside of that box. So once your phone's plugged in and activated, you can close that up and all your cords are nicely tucked away. So I think it's a great little DJ spot for sure. <laughs> Now this one here I like to call the uh, driver's phone spot. So how this works is your phone just kind of fits nicely tucked away in there. And why I like to call that the driver's spot is because it's not as accessible. Your phone is not going to be distracting you when driving and we all know that it's never safe to use your phone when driving. Besides that we have our cup holders. This one does have an insert in it so if you do have smaller beverages don't worry about them spilling. This lovely uh, console here does slide forward to unbox, gives you a little tray here, as well as opens up to a bigger compartment. As for the seats in this vehicle, they are wonderful. They are so, so big. They're honestly like sitting in a lazy boy. In this exact vehicle, we do have the light gray material with the black accenting, so it's definitely quite eye-catching. They're very, very easy to clean, and again, I can't stress enough how comfortable these seats are. We have <clears throat> dual overhead vanity mirrors in this vehicle. They are illuminated. We have a sunglass holder here with a cushy spot on the inside just to keep them safe. We have three garage door openers, one, two, and three, our light controls as well as our panoramic roof controls. The rear view mirror in this vehicle is an auto dimming rear view, so don't worry about those headlights blinding you. If they are completely in your eyes, your mirror will dim itself so that you are safe on the road. It also does have a compass in it as well, so definitely a great way of keeping track of where you're going. So let's talk about this panoramic roof before I bring it to the back seat. The front of this panoramic roof does open up completely, so I can completely stick my hand out through there. The back does not open, however, it does let in that natural sunlight, and I don't think you can really get any better than that. As for the rear seats in the RAV, the comfortability level is definitely carried throughout the vehicle, as well as that light gray leather material and that black accenting. So definitely really eye-catching as well as comfortable. They've also added a couple little convenience features back here. I have to admit, the Venza is so well designed. There's so many things that they've incorporated that kind of amaze me, to be honest. And I'm gonna talk more about that when I do show you the cargo space. But we do have our seat back pockets in both the driver as well as the passenger side seat. We have bottle holders as well as some other uh, storage in the doors. You of course have the ability of opening and closing your own windows. And this lovely center seat here, it does flip down. It has this nice little cover on it, but once you open it, there are two cup holders as well as the access of an armrest there as well. We have the vents back here too, so don't worry about getting too hot or too cold if you're sitting in the back seat. You definitely can feel that air control. One more thing that I want to mention is that because of the comfortability level that they've tried to include in this Venza, they've actually allowed these back seats to recline. So bring on those long car rides and have a really, really comfortable go. So the cargo space. Now I mentioned that everything's really, really well organized, but not only that, they give you tons of room. So if you are a daily commuter, you're gonna have absolutely no problem bringing everything that you need to school or work. If you're, say, a sports player, have some bigger gear that you need to bring around, no problem. If for whatever reason that you do have longer gear, say you're working on a construction site, going snowboarding, anything along those lines, we do have a 60-40 folding back seat. Now this is where the organizational part of this Venza comes in. They have thought of everything. So most times when you need to um, fold down those seats, you'd have to walk around to the side door to do so. Well, we've eliminated that. We've added these lovely handles right here, and all you need to do is pull it once, and that seat folds completely down. There is one on the other side there as well, so you have the ability of folding either one half or both half down to definitely maximize that cargo space. Not only that, they've added a light back here. Great thing to have, especially when you are like camping or something, it's nice to have a little bit of light to see what you're doing. They've also added a power outlet back here. So I like to bring up camping as a prime example as it's something that I like to do, but say blowing up air mattresses. You can't really do that inside of the car. So adding that power outlet back here definitely gives you a range of space to use it. And I think it's really a great addition. We also have our tunnel cover here, which is very, very simple to use. On the side here, there's little clasps. Just pull it up and in and everything gets nicely tucked away from the view of the passengers when driving around. They've not only just included this tunnel cover, but they've also included a cargo net, as well as a mat for this back uh, area here. So definitely a lot of cool additions that they've added to the rear of the Benza. 
So the engine is really what makes this Benza the amazing vehicle that it is. Under the hood here, we are looking at a 3.5 liter V6 engine with 24 valves and dual variable valve timing with intelligence. Not only does this car have so much power to the point that you can tow up to 1500 kilograms, but also is quite fuel efficient as well. You're looking at approximately 11.3 liters for a hundred kilometers, which brings you to about $2,400 a year. So remember that it's an SUV and with 1500 pounds of, uh, sorry, 1500 kilograms of towing, that is incredible fuel efficiency so there you have it everyone the 2016 v6 venza all-wheel drive xle in magnetic gray metallic not only is it beautiful it's fuel efficient it's comfortable it's really anything that you would need when you're looking for an suv now if this doesn't suit your fancy go check out our youtube channel because we have tons of videos of all the cars trucks and suvs that we have here on the lot as well as some extras and don't forget to press like subscribe and share them with your friends have a good one guys